I've been here, like I said, 33 years. It's interesting. There's many different aspects of this job. Uh, it's nothing like you see on TV. That's the first thing I hear when I'm talking to new staff. I show up for work and I don't really know what I'm going to be dealing with that day. Uh, you do a lot of communication with inmates. A lot of arrests come in at night and you get a fair amount of people who are drunk or they're high. But with all of this, our staff end up being a key to rehabilitation for people behind the walls. One of the, one of the key pieces is just communication skills and, and how, to, how to talk to people and the de-escalation piece, how to recognize uh, certain mental illness. Uh, and then there's the use of force piece. Uh, there, are, there are times that, that we have to go hands-on as a last resort, but we want to give uh, all our staff the tools to, to do their job and do it safely. With new employees, we start out with at least 120 hours of training. I've been here for just under two months, so I'm very new. There was, I believe it was 120 hours um, from their FTO program that I just completed last week. So that was basically, I was with another person the whole time. So if I had any questions or I wasn't sure about anything, they called me a lot. So they just didn't kind of throw you out to the wolves. They assisted and it was very nice. We do have um, IPC skills training, interpersonal communications. We've got first aid, CPR. Uh, jail control, and you'll work 40 hours up there. And that's where you're recording all the movement of staff. You're opening and closing doors. You're viewing three monitors of cameras. We do use of force training, taser training, um, OC training. We're trained first responders for CPR and AED. So we have an in-house training, pretty in-depth training to make sure that uh, the staff we have are successful and have the tools to do the job. And if something goes down, you do have backup. You have these. You have people that will be there for you. Uh, we treat people um, with the respect and dignity that they deserve because but be for the grace of God, we know that we could be on the other side of that wall just the same as anybody else. Sometimes people just make mistakes and have to come to jail. Doesn't mean they're necessarily a bad person. And it's our job to make sure that care, custody, and control take care of the inmates, have them in custody, and, and control their actions to make sure they're not violent and, and dangerous. It's challenging work, but it has its rewards, and that's what keeps me at this. There's a lot that's kept me in this job for seven years. Anything from making somebody's day a little bit brighter to helping them get back on their feet to the benefits at the detention facility the flexibility, the hours, being able to make it to my kids' sporting events. If you're interested in uh, working for corrections, uh, certainly reach out to us. We've got competitive uh, salaries, benefits. Quality of life is, is great in Ottertail County. Ottertail County is a great county. Uh, it, it's 2,200 square miles. It's got over a thousand lakes. It gives you the opportunity to, to take a vacation in the, in the same county that you live. I would recommend Ottertail County to work here. The, the staff is friendly. Um, they're very helpful if you have any questions. And they gave me all the training I need to be able to do my job successfully. It's a great job and a great place to live. And, and quite honestly, I can say that I'm living my best life here.